my name is Claire and I am the founder of Student RDH Dental Hygiene Boards Review for the National Boards and also for local anesthesia. Today, I would like to talk about a very important topic, fluoride. And this is part of our Community Health and Research Principle chapter that we have in Student RDH. Let's look at the table. Well, you have probably seen this before. This is the table of fluoride supplementation. That means how much you can give daily to supplement the fluoride level they have in their drinking water. This applies to only children who are 6 months to 16 years old, and there are two things that you have to consider when looking at this table. This is first of all the age, like we just talked about, and the level of fluoride that exists in their drinking water already. So the age here on the left, and how much fluoride they have here on the top. And this is about daily supplementation, not weekly or yearly. So this table is very important to know because you might see some questions that ask the patient is three years old, there's 0.3 ppm fluoride in their water, how much supplement do you give? So you can see a lot of questions like that. And in order to do that, you'll have to memorize this table. So if you don't want to just memorize it, you can always draw it because in the board exams, you have an option to draw it or to make notes. So let's do it together. This is how I memorized it. And I hope this helps other students memorize this table. So first, draw three lines vertically and three lines horizontally. Okay. Now let's go memorize some numbers. Those are very basic numbers. I think you can do this. Six, a uh, three, six, and sixteen. We're gonna use those three numbers, three, six, and sixteen, in order to fill the outside of the table, this area. Let's try that in blue here. So first I'm gonna write six over here, and I'm gonna write three. I know it's counterintuitive, but trust me, this is what we have to do. And then after that, three and six. Take the last number first, and then six. Here, take the last number, six, and then what was the last number? 16. That means six months to six, uh, three years, three years to six years, six years to 16 years. After that, we have the top to fill. And if you remember fluoride supplementation, uh, in drinking water, they recommend 0 0.7 to 1.2 ppm of fluoride. So we're going to write 3, but don't forget to put 0 in the beginning. So 0 0.3, 0 0.3, take the last number here, and the next number again, now take the last number. What does that mean? It means under 0 0.3 ppm. This means between 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 ppm, and that's over 0 0.6 ppm. Now we have this. Let's fill the inside. In the inside, you have to know two numbers, 0 and 1. Very easy. Let's see. Here, on the right side, just put zeros. Here, on the very left bottom, put 1. Now, how about the rest? Well, we're just going to do some very simple math, which is just dividing by half. So here, take this 1 and divide it in half. What is it? 0 0.5. Now, when you go up, again, divide it in half. What is this? 0 0.5. And here, up again, half, 0 0.25. Do the same over here. Up, half, what is it? 0 0.25. And we just consider there's no half of 0 0.25, so we're just going to put 0 over here. So we have our table fully finished now. Let's look at an example. So the patient is five years old and the family has no access to fluoride water. And the patient is also not on any fluoride supplement. Let's look at the table what we just made. So the patient was five years old. So you are focused here in this middle area. And then there is no fluoride. So here you go to this column that says under 0 0.3 ppm. So if you put them together, this is your answer, 0 0.5. And you can do this with any numbers over here. So I hope this helps. Again, just to recap one more time, you put three vertical lines, and then you put three horizontal lines, and you fill the outside with 3, 6, and 16. But you start with six months, okay? Because from zero to six months, you don't give them anything. It doesn't benefit them. And then you fill this out 
on the left side and then on the top you point 0.3 to 0.6 and 0.6 and then after that you fill the inside with two numbers 0 and 1 first a 0 on the very right and 1 on the left bottom corner and then you divide the numbers and then you have your entire chart ready I hope this helped I hope to see you soon other mini reviews go to studentrgh.com too if you have time and keep reading our blogs because we have a lot of mini reviews that may help you for the national boards or local anesthesia boards and also if you're interested you can try our national board review or local anesthesia review thank you for watching and see you again bye